In this live patient program, Dr. Kozarski will demonstrate techniques that will increase speed of placement and limit sensitivity while delivering optimal aesthetics and maximum quality. In this program, you will learn how to create a long-lasting aesthetic smile makeover, a step-by-step -step process to recreate natural tooth form in a three-dimensional space, a shade matching system that simplifies the use of multiple layers to achieve lifelike results in color and translucency. In this segment, Dr. Kozarski discusses and demonstrates aesthetic lower anterior direct resin restorations. Today we're going to be restoring two teeth on Jim here, tooth number 22 and number 23. As you can see, Jim has worn down the incisal edges of both teeth. He's fractured off the distal incisal edge of number 23. I think as a result of also his lack of canine guidance, with the way he's worn down the abfraction on the, on the incisal tip of number 22. Our goal is to go through and build back up the incisal edge of 22, create proper canine guidance, and then allowing better protection for number 23 incisal edge. Um, as we do that, we're going to build the teeth up using a restorative composite material venous. When we build, we're going to build the teeth in not your shaded technique, but uh, in an anatomical technique. And venous system comes in a two-shaded tab style. So as you look at these teeth here, if you, if you look initially, the shade tab actually will show us that these teeth are about an A3 and a half. But if you look occlusally, look in the size of the tip area, what you'll see is that there's a darker dentin shade and a lighter enamel shade. So as we build these teeth, we're not just going to pick A3 and a half. We're going to build a, mo a more opacious, darker dentin shade, and then add to that a lighter shade of incisal or enamel shade where the two combined end up becoming your A3 and a half shade. And that gives you more depth of color, a more natural look, and a more blendability or a chameleon effect where you find that the, the margins of the, especially the enamel material, will blend in to the existing enamel of the tooth. And it can help hide your restorations a lot more effectively. And the depth of color will come from within side versus just a uniform one shade color all the way through because these teeth don't have that. They have a, a darker dentin shade and a lighter enamel outer surface. So we're going to try and mimic that, mimic nature in building it anatomically, not just a shaded technique. Okay, so our first step is to go through and clean off. You can see there's a little bit of plaque on those teeth. We're going to take a little, little bit of Concepsis scrub from Ultradent, clean off the teeth, clean off the plaque. And then a shade selection, we're going to go through and match what we've matched best there is an A3.5 with our Venus two-shaded, um, two-layered shaded guide template. And if you look at this, there's a recipe then that builds the shade. And this shade's actually built with, with opaque A3.5 and, and actually enamel A3.5, which is unlike what we just talked about it, both shades do end up becoming the A3.5, but oftentimes you'll find that it'll be a much darker dentin with a lighter enamel shade over it that gives us the end result. With this shade, it ends up happening to be both A3.5. But the difference will be is the dentin is much more opaque and the enamel is much more transparent. So the end result is you're going to see a darker core or more opaque dentin showing through a lighter enamel color, which again gives us that chameleon effect. Okay, so we're going to just do a little bit of prepping here. In this case, more so just to roughen up the tooth surface. There's a little bit of decay on number 23. And the idea is to get a nice, freshly tooled enamel and dentin to bond to. So we're just going to go and roughen up the, the dentin. Create a slight bevel on the enamel. And remove any loosened enamel rods through here. And that's pretty much the prep on number 22. 23, a little bit of decay removal through here. Slight bevel facially and lingually. Because these teeth have a nice tight proximal contact and actually one composite is going to run to the other one, we're going to build these separately. We'll start at number 22, then work our way over to number 23.